Hello everybody and welcome to another Let's Play. I'm your host Shadows Alley. Welcome you all. This time I picked XCOM Enemy Unknown. For those of you who know what XCOM Enemy Unknown is, it is a sci-fi turn-based tactical RPG. It's got RPG elements because your squad levels up on how they perform in each mission. The game also features permadeath, so as we get deeper into this alien invasion that's gonna come to Earth. Our squad will face many enemies unknown, and if they die in a mission, they are dead for good. I figured we'd take a little break from Far Cry 4 now that we've hit halfway through it and change a little pace and just try something different. Let's further ado, let's get started. We're gonna do single player, play a normal. Yeah, I don't know what second wave is. Looks like second wave has enhancements that we can do. But not gonna even do that. We're just gonna do the bear. Got for advanced eyes. Advanced uh, yeah, I can do that. Advanced options let you do Iron Man and do an enable the tutorial. I played a little bit of the tutorial just to know what it is. I'm a big fan of the turn based tactical game, so we won't have to go through that. Um, Iron Man looks like it says play with a single save that is updated automatically as you progress through the game in an Iron in an Iron Man game your choices and their consequences are permanent. Which I'm gonna kinda play as Iron Man. In Iron Man you can't reload er earlier saves, adding a snippet level of challenge to experience Iron Man mode is only recommended for advanced players. Uh, I just kicked it off. I'm not going to reload saves, you know. We mess up, but we make a wrong choice. We're just going to stick with them anyways. Now, you know what? Let's just do it. What the heck? Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equal, te equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Intro to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Be very terrifying for aliens just to out, out of nowhere just invade our invade our country. But it'd be it'd be terrifying for anybody just 
All right, identify our base location. We have North America, Europe, Asia, South America, and Africa. Continent bonuses for North America are air and space. All aircrafts, all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to produce, build, and maintain. Europe's continent bonus, expert knowledge. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Asia, continent bonus, future weapons. All projects in the foundry and the off. Officer training school costs fifty percent less. South America's kind of bonus. We have ways. We have ways. Ugh. Autopsies and interrogations are complete. In, are completed instantly. And last but not least, Africa kind of bonus all in monthly XCOM funding increased by thirty percent. Uh, really wish North America would have a. Little so different. You know, I live in North America to be nice, but I they would do something a little different. And hmm. Let's say we start with we <clears throat> use Asia as our main base location because foundry and officer training school costs are 50 percent less which is nice because we can be able to train and be able to equip efficiently our troops a little better a little faster be step up not get go into a mission get get slammed hard and just white completely oh let's confirm that Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Oh, and it's going to start us off. A local broadcast oh. indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Our first mission is Operation Bloody Father. Alien abductions in Australia. Mission briefing, alien abductions in progress. Site is clear, clear civilians and multiple hostiles. Hostile elements are present. Federal damage is not a concern. We're going to sweep the abduction site and identify threats and then neutralize them. Well, let's get right into it. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright then, we have landed and... If you haven't played this or seen the tutorial, I'll go over a little of the you up the HUD. We've got every, every person has a main weapon and a sidearm. We have our abilities here. We have fire, overwatch, and frag grenade. Oh, Overwatch basically what it does is it fires on the first enemy that moves within our line of sight But we get a small aim penalty Here mar Marking off each of our troop these little blocks here are our health and these two little Sections right here are our moves So every character can either move twice judging from this light blue line here and we can rush to or we can do a dashing up to the yellow lining which will cause us to use both our turns if we use both our turns then we can't we can't do any attack on any any alien host, hostiles in the area so what do we got we got philip as barky our tom and Shen. As we progress through this through this game and character our squad levels up and gains abilities, I will rename them and customize them. Characters do have a customization where we can change their looks and their colors. We can give them different we can get change their first and last name where they're from. But alright, let's just take we're gonna take fit up here. And uh, also when moving moving your units, see, see the shields here. 
how this one has a half shield and these are half shield. That's how much cover they have. Full, this is full cover and the half shields are half cover. I'm going to take him and move him over here. And I'm going to go ahead and throw him in Overwatch. Case, because once we make all our moves, then the aliens get them their turn. Oh, where do I want to move? As Baki. Sorry if I don't pronounce any of these people's names. I have bad. I'm going to change them so they're easier to identify and be able to pronounce. Move him over here. So far, so good. Throw him in the Overwatch. Overwatch is a nice little little mechanic if for my character setup. If an alien comes up through here into the, his line of sight, he'll automatically fire on him and try to try take him out one. Let's take Shen. Get over here. Throw him in the Overwatch. Move our Tom up here. And put him over watch too. Now it's the alien's turn. So far so good. Uh, not really good for any cover though. You know, let's just do a dash. And... Got something over here. Ooh. Those are some ugly aliens. I don't think aliens were ever supposed to be that. Let's throw as Baki here, from an Overwatch, get found where the aliens are. I'm gonna take Shen, Shen up to here. Still no line of sight. That and anyway. Atom right here. Put him in an Overwatch, even though he's not gonna be able to see anybody. That. Watch Ooh. the sides. Ugh. For the love of God, get me out of here. <laughs> and Philip is panicked, so we have really no control over him when he, when an ally units get attacked. They sometimes become panicked, and we lose control of them for a little time. As Baki, this as Baki have an attack. Okay, we have sight of one alien. And we got 45% chance to hit at a 10% critical. We got for frag grenade. Ooh, this is. See if we can throw that up. Don't have the range for that, so that's thing. Oh. They're just throwing an overwatch. Move Shen over here. Shen also has a grenade. Can we throw it? Ooh, we can. Let's lob a grenade over there. Do three damage, see if Going we can take him out. Come on, baby. Boom! You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Alright, Dr. Van. My bad. Alright, who's uh, Ed Tom's turn now? Get Ed Tom up a little further. He'll have a line of sight over the boxes, and we'll put him in Overwatch. Uh, not very great of uh, not very great of line of sight, which is kind of a bummer. But you know, we still got more more that? turns to go, though. We got at least one more alien. I don't doesn't distinguish how many aliens there are. So therefore, we'll keep looking for them and we'll keep going. The dash. But just leave him there since since Philip is injured and only two health left. I don't want to lose some of this early in the game. Let's put him in Overwatch. 
Can we move Azbaki up here? Oh! Damn, that was close. Thank God for that man. That missed. I didn't even realize any enemy could do Overwatch, which is, is pretty neat. I think it has, say, 25%. You know what? 25%. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try and make an attack that needs to go through. That's just too much of a. I don't know. Is he still in Overwatch or is his Overwatch old? No target. Okay, we can chance it and we'll just move over here. Oh, garbage. 25%. Let's throw him in Overwatch. Yeah, XCOM Enemy Unknown came out in 2012. Officially as it is now, it's 2016. XCOM 2 came out a little bit ago. Or like a month ago, I think. Yeah, about a month ago. Which is a continuation story for XCOM Enemy Unknown. If Nope. Oh, wow. Start, the starting units don't have a very great chance of hitting. Let's just put him in Overwatch. They're falling back. Uh, let's move Philip over this way. Keep him behind everybody. Put him in Overwatch as well. You got any better shot? Nope. No, let's just try it. See what we get. Yeah, go figure. Damn it! Wasn't expected thing. I don't understand why you can't hit me either. Move him here. Or put him in Overwatch. What I'm thinking of. Or take uh, Ed Tom and try to flank him. Throw him into Overwatch. As well. I guess the alien's gonna hold his ground. Move Philip up here. Throw him in Overwatch. Overwatch is always a good, good thing to put him in. It's just in case someone might move up. Let's move him up. No Overwatch the alien, and we hit him a little bit better. 31%. Let's go ahead and try it. Surprisingly, we hit him. That's kind of surprising. The weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay. I don't know much of XCOM. I played some of the earlier uh, games of XCOM, and they were they're actually kind of different than this. Like XCOM Enforcer, it was like a third-person shooter. I don't know about the the previous XCOM games, because they're, I think, back in the 80s, I want to say? Maybe 90s. At least about 20 years ago, back when computers and computer gaming wasn't fairly new. XCOM Enforcer was, was pretty fun. I don't really remember it, because I was, I was probably like 10 or between 10, 10 and 12 when I played. All right, now we got those two aliens down. Let's uh, see what visual we have. Well, no more aliens anywhere. So let's just slowly move up here. Keep putting everybody in Overwatch, just in case. Atom over here. Full cover. Basic controls, from what I understand from the tutorial, W, S, A, D moves your camera around, Q and E rotates it. You left click your units, you click your units with the left mouse button, and to give them commands, you use the right mouse button. Use your abilities, you can either come down here and click on them, or use the number key that they're locked onto. 
Move Philip here. Oh, I'm gonna overwatch. Oh, what's Bunker Down actually? Uh, Bunker Down doubles cover bonus and provides immunity to critical hits, but reduces light radiant. Keep him in over Overwatch, yes. Move as Baki up here. No targets. So continue to overwatch. Shen. Move Shen up to here. Overwatch as usual. I don't know. Um, looks like these red beams here are the edge of the map. Hopefully there's nothing back here. Hopefully they're all up. So. Um. Well, let's just move um right here at the end. Here, it's only half half cover, but throw an Overwatch. Quiet. Do you hear something? Oh, that sounds like the aliens are off this way. Move Philip this way. Don't want. Help to get too far because he is very, very injured and Baki. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Throw him in an overwatch. Shen. Move Shen up. I am overwatch. We're going to move. And Tom. At very. Eh, we'll just throw him right here in the dash. No end of his turn. Shh. I think I heard something. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Holy crap, the aliens actually snuck up on us. Uh -huh. Weren't expecting that to happen. Half switch. 25%, 45%. Eh, let's go for the 45%. Ooh, good headshot. Move Zabaki here because there did show signs that aliens. Throw him Overwatch. That's really a dash? Well, let's just throw Shen here then. See if he can. Oh, nope. I guess not. Nope. No targets available. Okay. Let's keep him in Overwatch in case the alien, alien off this end decides to get a little closer. And we'll throw Anton here. Throw him in Overwatch as usual. Do what aliens are gonna try. Hopefully they don't hit Philip because that'd be really bad. Don't want to lose somebody right off the bat. Oh, are you serious? Okay, well, Philip is dead, unfortunately. This is this is an evasion on the world, so deaths are expected. We're not expecting them this early. Is there anybody else to play? No, he still can't. Uh, what to do? What to do? What? To do? He's there. Let's just. And up here, you got a shot. You got a 45% chance. Let's try it. He's and down. we got him. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, 
The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. And Operation Bloody Father is a success. I suspect that we lost. We killed four aliens and we lost one XCOM operative. Great, but hey, like I said, things happen. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Uh, debriefing after action report felt this KIA unfortunately sucks. We have Azbaki has been ranked to squaddy and he's been signed a sniper. Awesome. Shen has become in a sport class. He's also a squaddy. And Anton didn't get no kill. So he didn't get a promotion. But he completed one mission. Fortunately for Philip. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander to the research labs. Commander. We have to new the research, research labs. available. We got the exo bio biology weapon fragments and alien materials. We have recovered four sectoid corpse corpses and six weapon fragments. Uh, the uh, mission controls a high importance resources for research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. All right, Dr. Wallen. Let's see what researches we have available. We have the Xenobiology. Normal, it cut, takes eight days. It needs four sectoid, sectoid corpses. It is critical that we gain a thought Thorough understanding of the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to, to combating them. Yeah, weapon fragments, normal, eight days. It cost project costs five weapon fragments. These fragments are all these fragments are all that remain of powerful alien weapon we encountered so far. Further study could lead to to advances in our own weapon development program and alien materials. So yet, yet again, normal, eight days, project cost, five weapon fragments, aliens prepared to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've seen. Our coarser examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve soldiers' current body armor, but more research is required. Well, if we're going up against aliens, I would think that we want better armor. So let's, let's begin... Studying the alien materials. Commander, Earth. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Well, if that's the case, then why would they give us good, good engineering? Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication.
Only thing we can build right now are medkits and satellite. I don't know what they were. medkits. I obviously heal our troops, and I don't know what satellite. Go to the build. We still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Not doing anything with that just yet. I know we said for the barracks. Do a memorial. Poor sap. Bad for him. Command He's not going to see what if the world's going to turn on. Control. Your soldiers, we have. Oh, we got a lot of soldiers. Oh, let's do our upgrades first. Our promotion. Maki is a sniper. Ability. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. New training, train headshot. Automatically gets that headshot. Fire shot with 30% extra. Fire a shot with 30% critical chance and extra damage on critical hits based on the tech level of the sniper rifle. Two turn, got a two turn cool. Who else we got? Uh, Shen. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Shen gets, he's a support character. He's, a, he's got the rank of squaddy. He gets new training. His training is smoke grenade. Smoke grenade. Develop, deploy smoke grenade once per mission. Smoke. Comfers a plus 20 Commander, defense to all units, control. not just alleys, and last through the Oh, well, we're gonna have to be kind of careful with that. Anything new? Cool, say. Nothing, we get eight days and that. We got a council. The council report after 31 days at the end of every month. From what I understand, we've got 265 credits and we get 165 every month. That doesn't seem like a month, but. But alright, everybody, I'm gonna cut this episode here. Thank you for joining me for XCOM Enemy Unknown. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If not, look for the end notations up on the upper right. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.